Hello, this is Johnny. Uh, I'm going to do a quick, well, not really quick, but a demonstration how to get rid of the uh, the black uh, basil. Because uh, when you play a game, it's kind of annoying. Uh, because especially the arcade game, like uh, Battle Toes, stuff like that, because the screen is covered halfway and you can't really see anything. Uh, so what we're going to do is remove it because. I cannot play a game with the bezel on the sides, and uh, this is not like a 50 inch screen where you need to, you know, you you have all this extra space on the side that you could put a bezel, and it kind of looks nice, but I rather not have it, and it's kind of annoying because one of the game that I was playing, it was blocking the whole game. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go to Virtual Pie and press A, and we are going to uh, let me zoom into the screen. So we can see what we're looking at. And I'm going to go to uh, called Retro RK Basil. So we're going to look for that. So Retro RK Basil. Okay, that's basil overlay. I think it's different version called different. This one's basil overlay. So instead of calling retro, I mean uh, retro pie basil is they just call it the basil overlay. So let's go ahead and press A on that. No wonder I couldn't find it. This is a 4.4 version by the way. So this is the pretty much the latest version right now on 2019 right now it's January 2019 okay all right so we're gonna say yes and we're gonna hide the basil overlay so you don't have the basil on the sides to cover the screen so you want a full screen so you're gonna select one one and then you're gonna choose the one you want to hide I don't want I want to hide RK so you choose RK. Then you want to choose FBA. Which system would you like to disable Basil? I want to disable FBA. Uh, dis disable that. And the rest of them should be okay with the Basil around it. Uh, I don't want Basil on Neo Geo. And I don't think you need a basil for the Sega CD either. And also Dreamcast. Is there a Dreamcast? Probably at the bottom. I have a problem with Super Nintendo. I have a basil. Super Fanacon. Let's get rid of the basil on Super Nintendo. Because final, I think one of the games that have the basil and I didn't like it. So, and PlayStation, I don't want it, and I don't want it on Dreamcast. I don't think Dreamcast was an issue after, uh, when we were playing it. So, all right, I'm just gonna leave it alone. PSP. Okay. So I'm gonna exit out and let's 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 try out see see if that will take care of it. If not, we're going to uh, go to one more step, the Basil project, which I don't know this version have it. This is retro. I 
I think that should be it. All right, let me press B and let's try let's test it out. Let's try the RK first and let's press select button and let's go to battle toes. Okay, I'm in battle. There you go, battle toes. Let's press A. Now it depends how you configure the your main joystick. I noticed that uh, this time around, I accidentally configure my X and Y reverse. So when you press select Y, it, uh, the retro RK screen won't show up. You have to press select X because I configure the X and Y reverse. So now select X, maybe I should fix it. It's supposed to press select, but before you could uh, go into the retro menu in the game, is you have to see now it doesn't have basil because this one has some black screen but it's just covering the whole thing so I didn't like that so no more basil on the screen so let's try it out you got a little bit of a black screen but the basil was covering more than a little bit it was covering a lot and then that that to me is not it's not playable. Cool, I'm gonna kick you out of the screen. So to save it, you just press select and the, this is L, this is R, press R and you will save the, the save. To load it, you just press select and that will be loading the, the system. Okay, so to get out, you're going to press star select to get out. Okay. So that fixed the basil issue so it won't show up. Uh, let's try a different one. Let's try, let's go see if Neo Geo now doesn't have the, the basil. And we're gonna try, we're gonna try the one with the Metal, Metal Gear because Metal Gear 4 does not work on the regular Retro Arcade. It doesn't matter if you change the format, uh, you are converted to FBA. It still will still will not work, but it does work on the this this emulator Retro Pi. So we're gonna go ahead press A button and we're gonna look for Metal Gear. We got Metal Gear one, two, three, four, five, six, and X. Is that awesome? Okay, so we're gonna try four. So that's one way to get rid of the basil. That you could go into the game and, and do it, but if a basil is on your way, so I say it correctly, basil, basil, basil. If that's on your way, you cannot remove it because you can't see the full screen of the the program. So the best way to is just go to Retro Arcade. See now it's a full screen. You don't have any uh, basil on the sides, on the left, on the right side. And I'll show you one that does have it, so you can see what I'm talking about. In case those of you doesn't know what I'm saying, like what's what are you talking about? Ba basil.
Oh man, you see that? And then another one that doesn't play well was uh, uh, the view. Well, you guys saw my video before. So you guys should know. Well, last time when I played it, it didn't have a sound was not fixed. So, well, let's go ahead and try it. I like the arcade version of it. It sounds pretty. Ah, I pressed the one button. It sounds pretty cool. With the sounds that is up. Hey, there we go. So it does take a few seconds to load, so don't get patented. It. It's loading. I put mine in the a grocery bag and inside have some kind of powder and got into my screen. I can't get it out. Ah. I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to get that out. How does it look through the iPhone? Play on the iPhone, yes. I'm gonna play on the iPhone because normally I can aim that pretty well like this and I'm not doing it. Okay. But anyway, you got the point, it's working. <laughs> Alright, let's try something else. Let's try Let's try a one that uh, we did not change, like for example, yeah, we didn't change Capcom too, we forgot to do Capcom, but let's, oh, I have the Nintendo second joystick plugin, and I want to see if Nintendo 64 will work, okay, so I'm going to zoom back out. I'm already, I'm already zoomed back out. <laughs> All right, let me get the screen up a little bit. And we're gonna use the uh, joystick. And we're gonna see uh, how well this thing play, okay? What's up with that? All right. So I'm gonna press the A button. There you go. And we're gonna play uh, Super Mario. So we're gonna press the select button and we're gonna choose uh, D pad. I'm gonna choose the S. Is that the S? Alright, let's look for Super. No, it's not in the S. What I do is give me one second. Got a notification that pop up on my phone. Can I see what I'm selecting? <laughs> okay, S. Press A.
oh, I'm a Nintendo. I'm not, I don't want to be a Nintendo. I want to be, not that I can find, I need to be a Nintendo 64. That's what I, I'm, I'm in the wrong system. I want to try this one later. Now, those are the games that you have to use this kind of controller because you have a two analog stick and one D-pad. And so D-pad is controlling the wheel. This is called a wheel. And if you don't have it, it's hard to, for you to play those games because the original system requires those type of joystick. So you cannot limit yourself. I mean, that would defeat the purpose of having fun with the, you know, Nintendo. So you have to have two joysticks. And so once you configure the first joystick, you just configure the second joystick and you are ready to go. Why can I find Nintendo 64? Did I miss it? Okay, I'm in Raspberry. Capcom. And yeah, Super NES. <clears throat> All the game. Okay, Neo Geo, Atari, Cavision, Family, Nintendo, Nintendo, Super Nintendo. There you go. Solve that. All right. Now we are going to look for. Sorry, screen is not focus. Ah, lost the focus again. There you go. We're gonna look for the S. There you go. Press A. Star Wars. All right. Now remember, my system is not my system is not overclock. So once I get the heat sink in, uh, then I want to try that. Where is, am I in the Japanese version? Did I accidentally went to a Japanese version? Ah, just start again by pressing the A button instead of B. Now the game is going low. <laughs> I don't know if this is Nintendo 64. No, it's not Nintendo six. It's not Nintendo sixty four. It's uh, Fenacon. Okay, see the the bezel on both sides. Most people like this kind of screen because they don't want to stretch out, stretch screen. And most of the game here is not stretch. So it's you could set it to full screen if you want, but most of the game here are not stretch. So that's why they add a bezel. But the bezel is always in the same. Sometimes. It's pretty much the same size and 